One of the characteristics of Asperger's syndrome is the ability to focus very narrowly on a certain interest or perhaps a person. When you take that into the romantic realm, it can be quite troublesome. If you have Asperger's syndrome or perhaps high functioning autism, you don't have the social skills and therefore you might not take hints as well that somebody doesn't like you. Thus, if you focus very intently on that person, it's a recipe for disaster. I know I've had my share of very intense crushes that have gone very poorly. But fortunately, I've been able to learn these hard lessons over the years. And I learned through spiritual works things about attachment, things about intense passion, about rejection. And I find something interesting. When I was in high school, one of my friends was trying to dissuade me from pursuing a girl that didn't like me at all. And I was very, very intense and passionate about it. She said, there are girls who will date you, and that's always the case. The problem is, sometimes we always go after the ones that don't want us. Since I am so intense, I attract intensity via the law of attraction. Therefore, the intense women are the ones that mesh with me well. And when they come around, it's very interesting because they throw intensity at me, and I'm not used to having it thrown at me. I'm used to throwing it at me. So it throws me off. It is really cool though, because they like to delve into the matters right away. They like to delve into the deep questions right in the first correspondence, second correspondence. So I really love meeting those types of women. Those are the ones for me, and they don't mind the intensity focused on them. The intensity is going to overwhelm and even obliterate most other people. So find those intense men or women, whatever the case may be, and your intensity of Asperger's syndrome can be well directed. I hope to find an intense soulmate.